There are many, 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 many healthy eating fads out there at the minute. And a lot of them pose as these magic pills that help you achieve your health goals with minimal effort. Now, I do believe that healthy eating and healthy living doesn't need to be difficult. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need to have a science degree to do it either. But you also have to know that it, quick fixes usually don't work in the long term. And sometimes they can do some harm. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to debunk some of the health myths surrounding apple cider vinegar. I want to help you wade through this swamp of nutrition information that's out there so you can get to the scientifically proven nutrition information that actually works. Apple cider vinegar is posing as one of those magic pills that I'm talking about and it claims to do a lot of things and a lot of the time there's not that much scientific evidence backing them up so in today's video i'm going to look at most of those claims and going to see is there any evidence backing up those claims apple cider vinegar is made from apples sugar and yeast and it's made in a process called fermentation which makes acetic acid as a byproduct The first big health claim is weight loss. So vinegar and apple cider vinegar is naturally low in calories anyway, at only three calories per tablespoon. So it's probably a good alternative for a low calorie dressing or that. Now, apple cider vinegar or vinegar is a dilute solution of what's called acetic acid. The body needs energy to metabolize this acetic acid and it causes an enzyme to be released that's called AMPK and it kind of acts as like a fuel gauge in your body so it can sense that your body is using up its energy to metabolize this acetic acid so it needs to start finding energy from other sources and it usually finds this source from fat, so it burns fat in your body instead of storing it. There was one study I found, a large study um, done on Japanese people that did show that apple cider vinegar showed quite promising effects on weight loss. But when I looked into it later, I found that that study was actually funded by the people who make apple cider vinegar which would leave me thinking that maybe everything in that study isn't 100% true. Now, if you look at it in a way that, like I said, apple cider vinegar is low calorie, it can be used in cooking, it can be used for dressings, for marinade. But do I think drinking a glass of apple cider vinegar every morning or every day is going to help you lose weight if you don't make any other changes in your diet? No, not really. If you naturally lower your calories or start to eat healthier and also drink apple cider vinegar, yeah, you probably will start losing weight. Looking at blood sugar control, there was a very small, now I stress, very small study done on this and it showed that apple cider vinegar did significantly reduce blood glucose levels. But like I said, it was a very small study, so a lot more research needs to go into this. Also, apple cider vinegar can have some adverse effects on certain medications, so diabetes medication. So I wouldn't recommend taking apple cider vinegar unless you consult your doctor if you are on medication, diabetes medication or any kind of medication. Over 2,000 years ago, the father of medicine, Hippocrates, used to use vinegar to clean out wounds so as an antiseptic. It can also be used to clean fungal nail infections and lice, warts, and even ear infections. Although I don't think I'd like somebody to put apple cider vinegar in my ear if I had a sore ear. But it can also be used as a food preservative and it can help prevent from food poison and bacteria such as salmonella or listeria. 
As for the claims of apple cider vinegar helping improve blood pressure and cholesterol, those claims are absolute. So there's no evidence to show these at all. I don't know where this claim came out of. So like I said, apple cider vinegar is made in a process called fermentation. And if you haven't already seen my video on probiotics, you'll know that fermented foods can provide us with probiotics, which is good gut bacteria to help with a healthy gut. So apple cider vinegar does provide probiotics, mainly lactobacillus and oenococcus, but not in very large amounts. You would probably be better to get your probiotic from foods like kimchi and kombucha. They contain more. If you have been looking up about different apple cider vinegars, you've probably heard the term mother. The mother is a mixture of the yeast and bacteria formed during the fermentation process and it also provides prebiotics and prebiotics are like food for the good gut bacteria. So you get them mostly from fiber and that, but apple cider vinegar is a probiotic and a prebiotic. So it can possibly help with gut health. So that claim might have some standing to it. However, it is acidic. So if you do suffer from IBS or other gut related symptoms, it might aggravate those symptoms a bit. So it's just, it's one person individual. So one person might be fine with it. Another person might aggravate them. If it aggravates you, then stop taking it. For the claim that it can help detox, I want to make it clear that you do not need to detox yourself. Your body detoxes itself for you. So your kidneys, as long as your kidneys, your liver and your intestines work, you're fine. They detox you. You can eat certain vegetables, crucif cruciferous vegetables. So kale, spinach, basically green leafy um, vegetables. They can help those organs like work better i don't know but these detox drinks these expensive detox drinks they basically just make you shit that's not good for you because that makes you lose all the electrolytes and stuff like that so um and it's not very pleasant either you don't need to do that if you're liver your kidneys and your intestines are working fine then you're fine your body is detoxing itself for you you don't need to worry about it just drink water and eat your green leafy veg and they'll be working fine and you'll be all detoxed as for the claims that it can help treat cancers there's a lot more scientific evidence needs to be there to back this one up. There's actually been no human trials done on this. It's only been on animals and we're not, we're not rats. So what might work in rats probably won't work on us. Now, apple cider vinegar, because of the apples, it does contain antioxidants as do other vegetables and fruits and plant-based foods. And antioxidants, we know, can help protect us from free radicals. And free radicals can cause illnesses, chronic illnesses, inflammation, cancer. So it is a source of antioxidants, but that's about it. All in all, I didn't find any evidence saying that apple cider vinegar is going to cause you harm, aside from it might interfere with certain medications. Uh, the health benefits or the health claims, there's not a lot of evidence backing them up. Maybe if there's more studies done on them, that would show that, yeah, they do these things. Um, but in general, not really. It is a good alternative if you want to reduce your calories. So you can use it in dressings, you can use it in marinades and other things. That would be one way that it could help you with the weight loss. If you do want to start taking apple cider vinegar, look for the raw unpasteurized with the mother. So the mother is that bacteria and yeast that it makes it a prebiotic. That's what you want to be taking. 
if you do want to start taking apple cider vinegar. But if you have tried it and you don't like the taste of it, don't be stressing out because really most of these claims you can get from just eating a normal balanced diet. I hope you liked this video, I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload any more videos. Bye!